Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you some of the changes that have occurred from Xcode Beta 4 to Xcode Beta 5. One of the things that you will note is that although I am running Xcode version 11 Beta 5, I'm still running the old version of Catalina, which means that it is Catalina uh, Beta 4. And that's the main reason that I don't really see the Xcode previews on the right hand side. You can see the previews are enabled, but I can't really see the canvas. Once Apple releases the uh, Catalina 5, I would be able to upgrade it and then I will be able to see the previews. But right now, we don't have the previews. That's fine. Let's go ahead and check out some of the changes that have happened. First thing you will notice is that it's complaining about the segmented control. Uh, segmented control is now deprecated, and uh, if you want to use segmented control, you would use a picker with a picker style segmented. So let's go ahead and see that how we can fix this issue. Right now, if you run this application, you will be able to see a segmented control just like the old ways. I mean, it's gonna display just fine. And I can select a segmented control and it selects different options. But obviously we are getting the deprecation warning. So let's go ahead and see how we can fix that. I'm gonna remove this segmented control. And now I'm gonna start using something called a picker. Now the picker is gonna take in a selection and some sort of a label. So I can go ahead and pass in a selection. I've already declared the selection on line number 13, which is a state variable. So I can pass in that state variable, which will be a selected item. For the label, I'm just gonna pass in some text and I would say uh, choose item. And now for the last thing is the content. This is what is being displayed on the screen. So I'm just gonna say over here text with option number one. Let's go ahead and build that first. Great. And now we can also say option two and option three and so on. Option two and text with option number three. Let's go ahead and build that. Okay, now let's go ahead and run this example again. And now we will be able to see the picker view, but not the segmented control. But you can see that the picker view works fine. I can select different, uh, different I, uh, items from the picker view but we wanted a segmented control. So you can actually go ahead and use a style segmented, but you will notice that the segmented is actually crossed out, meaning it's actually deprecated. But don't worry, we can actually go ahead and use segmented picker style. And go ahead and pass in the empty object, and let's go ahead and refresh it again. And you'll be able to see good old segmented control back again. Great. So that was one of the changes that has happened in Xcode 11 Beta 5. You no longer have to use the segmented control view. You can use the picker view and or a picker control and then set the picker style to a segmented picker style. Great. The other big change that actually happened is the bindable object property or the protocol. The bindable object protocol is now deprecated and it is replaced by something called observable object. So let's go ahead and first do that. Observable object, which is a protocol. Now, unlike the bindable object, observable object does not have any conformance with the will change. I mean, you don't really have to conform to will change or provide the implementation of will change. So I'm just gonna remove that from over here and the other thing is that since you're not using will change, you don't really have to do will set and all that stuff. So let's go ahead and remove that also. Great, much cleaner now. Now the question is that, okay, if will change is actually gone, how am I going to make sure that when my property tip changes, I can notify the view? Well, you can simply decorate it with something called a published property wrapper and by decorating it with a published property wrapper, it is automatically going to notify that something has changed. Now let's go back to our content view. Object binding is no more. So we will have to use observed object in this case. 
There we go. Let's go ahead and build our application now. And you will see that most of our errors are now gone. If I go ahead and run the application now, I can see the segmented control, great. I can enter something in the text box, let's say 100, and I can press the submit button and it actually calculates the tip, which is 20%, which is $20. And you can see basically this trip view model, tip view model is actually working because that was the one calculating the tip. Once the tip was calculated, since this particular property is marked with published, meaning anytime this property changes, the content view is rendered again. And when it is rendered, we simply display the updated tip amount. So these are some of the changes that happen in Xcode 11 beta 5. There are some other changes that actually happen. And let me show you the page where you can find those changes. So here's the page, it's called developer.apple.com documentation Swift UI changes equals to latest beta. And you can actually go over here and check out different changes. So I can go into view and controls and simply keep on scrolling until I see something is being changed. And here we go, segmented control is now gone. So this is the best way for you to go through all these different links different sections and see what has actually changed, what has been updated and removed and so on. So these are the changes of Xcode 11 beta 5. If you like this video and want to support my channel, then the best way would be to purchase my course, which is Swift UI declarative interfaces for any Apple device. Now this is the highest rated course. As you can see, I have 589 students enrolled and this course is around seven plus hours of pure amazing content. Now you can see that we start with creating and combining views, but we dive into the state and binding as well as understanding the MVVM design pattern and even making a web API request and populating your news application. It doesn't stop there because it then jumps into property wrappers, forms, models, and so much more. Now here's what you can do. In the YouTube description, there's a link. If you click on the link, the discount coupon will automatically be applied and you can get the course for the lowest price possible. I highly encourage you to use the coupon, use the link that I'm giving you, because if you use the coupon, you're gonna get the best price. And to be really honest, I will get to keep like 90% of the revenue, but you will get the best price, believe me. And this is the best way to buy the course. And if you are interested, I have some other courses also. Uh, you can check it out and uh, enjoy it. Thank you so much. And if you have any questions, please let me know.